You have probably never heard of the Sargasso Sea. This rather unusual sea is located in the North Mid-Atlantic, and unlike other seas, it has no land boundaries. The calm blue waters are home to a unique ecosystem for seasonal marine life. But despite its remote location, microplastics have been found tangled in seaweed, threatening marine life and raising concerns once again about the dangers of plastic pollution. This is the Sargasso Sea, a vast patch of ocean named after free-floating golden brown seaweed called Sargassum. Sargasso Sea occupies almost two-thirds of the North Atlantic Ocean, its borders defined by the currents of the North Atlantic Gyre, a haven for hatchling sea turtles and hundreds of other marine species. Here, small animals feed, grow and hide from predators. But the sargassum is now home to objects wholly unnatural too. Scientists studying the scale and impact of plastic pollution on wildlife have found extreme concentrations of microplastic. These microplastic particles are eaten by the wildlife and enter the food chain. Embedded in most of the sargassum seaweed are the easily visible pieces of trash. Shampoo bottles, fishing gear, thick hard containers or thin soft bags. The Sargasso Sea acts as an important incubator for baby sea turtles, but the turtle sightings are decreasing day by day. Because this area is so remote, I mean, we honestly know very little about sea turtles. And so what we're worried about is that these habitats are not only valuable for their development, but plastics could also be threatening that development. And uh, that could be done in a couple ways. Um, I mean, through direct inge ingestion or through entanglement. Where is all this plastic coming from? Whirlpool-like circular ocean current draws in and traps debris from Africa, Europe and North America. Any plastic sucked in is continuously broken by the churning current until it becomes microplastic, ending up tangled in the seaweed. Urging immediate damage control, environmental groups are calling on the United Nations to protect 30% of the world's oceans by the year 2030. Environmental campaign groups agree a strong global treaty is needed to protect the oceans from major threats of climate change, be it overfishing, deep sea mining or plastic pollution. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.